All right, Joshua, we are ready. I'm gonna get your rally diver uh, toward down and get you serviced. All right, so let's go. First things is to get your band off. some point in its life. Pretty serious bump, in fact. Hmm. Okay. Well, here we go. Very nice. I love the 6106. Such a good movement. Good movement. All right. I like this case too. It's cool. It's got a good shape. All right, let's look in your case back real quick. I see a number. I have no idea what it means. L121 something. And some other numbers. I have no idea what those mean either. So two service marks. Sometimes it's just easier to flip it over. Let it fall on the bench. Somebody had a slippery screwdriver. Happens to the best of us, but it's not good to see that in a movement. out of your mainspring. I don't think there's very much, but let's get what is there out, which is nothing. All right. Next stop is remove the stem. Ooh, that is a stiff, stiff one. All right. We'll be, of course, replacing that. All right, let's look at that funky dial. Ooh, that's nice. That looks good. Very clean. Nice, 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 nice. A little haziness on this window, but we can clean that up. Tiny bit of haze on your hands, but we can clean that up too. All right, let's get the hands off. Canon pinion feels good. 
nice and tight. Just love these cool 70s color combinations. Orange, orange mint, or second hand, and these light blue accents around the dial. It's just so nice. Get your dial removed and we'll look at the numbers. We'll give it that. The only thing that you can ever get during a service is checking out the numbers on the back of your dial. All right, this is a 1 2, and this is a 1 2. Well, that's really nice to see. February 71 on both dial back and case back. All right, day date. Let's get the rest of your movement deconstructed. We'll take some so similar and and in fact so Ooh, those are loose. And in some ways superior to the other 6000 series. The 6119s definitely have more jeweling, and some of them even had uh, die fix settings, which is really nice. value of the things like the the Willards and the you know other divers is really starting to rise and it's so funny the the movements themselves are all very similar in that family this this movement and the Willards um, but the values are certainly different for the watches However, I really like the Rally Divers. All right, I'm gonna take some really close views of this under the microscope and see what, see what we've got. But we're gonna put a, a new, uh, the upper mainspring arbor port jewel there. The barrel has seen some scratching and other marring. The only reason I point these things out is because sometimes these things come around and we have to either replace things or remove things or redo things. It's always indicative in some sense of the care that was put into the service, if there was service. If it comes home with, you know, scratching and marring, but you know, sometimes in the past these watches weren't worth very much, and people didn't really take the care. Maybe they should have. But we will hopefully return it better. Okay, that looks good. A little wobble in your center wheel, but that's okay. Had one recently that was just all over the place. All right.
one big plate. Oops. All this stuff is shared with the 61 6139 chronographs, turns out. These sorts of components here. This is all common with the chronographs. They have a push in day day, which really kind of eliminates this from being a real diver. You don't ever want to push in with a diver, you always want to have out and have things lock when they're in. But that's okay. These are shallow water divers. <laughs> Smooth, it's good. Hmm. Wow, maybe the other doesn't want to come out. Just take your center wheel out. has to come out. There we go. Come on. I wonder if that, I think that's okay. All right. So out you go. Hugo. There we go. All right. With this again so we're going to go ahead and jewel this and jewel your upper and call that disassembled we'll be back okay joshua uh we are ready to get going uh, i want to point out you have a new jewel here in your uh, lower mainspring arbor port uh, you also have a jewel in your upper mainspring arbor port that's right here and you have a new jewel in your fourth wheel uh, position here for your bushing. Um, that bushing was really rough. Uh, I'll pop a picture in uh, here so you can see it. Uh, 
but uh, yeah, that that was that was in bad shape. So I went ahead and replaced that with a jewel. Um, that's a little bit of extra, but you know it's totally worth it. I've had a lot of problems with uh, with bushings that have been seen service and gotten egged out or worn badly. Um, so I just I just put a new brand new jewel in, and that uh, that ensures that 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 component, which is really where your second hand actually mounts, um, is in good shape. Trust me when I say it's worth it. Okay, so now we're going to start reconstruction. So we're going to begin with some lubrication here. So I've checked your wheels to make sure everybody's fitting as they should. So that should Sure, everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. What they are supposed to be doing. dust. Looks clean. of dust and debris. This one is particularly susceptible considering how much it moves. Right. In you go. And now your fourth wheel which will reside in a brand new jewel. It is clean and ready. A little bit of lubrication. Okay. Now we can do your barrel. And now we check again for function. Look at that, really nice. Second screw. Nice. Okay. And I think we're clear to clear to tighten. Clear to Thanos. And now 
now for your ratchet wheel. So now let's lubricate your jewels on this side. Okay, and now we can flip over to the calendar side and install a few small pieces. So we'll install your and pinion that will go here. And then we can lubricate. So we do your escape wheel. And your third wheel. in your die shock. Alright. Alright, I need this under high magnification so I can see what I'm doing. Side. And now the pallet fork comes next. So we lubricated the stones on your pallet fork. Just like so. All right, so it's bridge now it goes on. Give it a little check here. Oh, yeah. Good. Drop the balance, see what we get.
Oh, come on. Let's see some movement here. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, so. Put the screw in parts. go and now put this die shock in okay and we need to put its corresponding spring up a little bit but starting off there is kind of nice let's see how this proceeds let's get your uh, beat error down a little bit and take a chance and go this way let's see if that helps nope that's wrong direction let's go back Let's bring the amplitude or the uh, rate down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Well, not bad. Okay, let's come down just a hair. nice having a new uh, <laughs> a new jewel in there that really helps well plus all the other things of course okay let's bring your rate down just a hair more let's see if we can get that nice and flat oh, a little too much but that's okay Take two uh, two thirties to begin with. This makes the break-in process slightly faster. Okay. Well. Um, wow. Great. Great. It's all fantastic. I think I'm gonna leave it there, and we're gonna let this run in for a little while just to see how it does. But uh, yeah. I'm pretty convinced. We're starting off pretty well. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. We need to bump that up just a touch more. But uh, we're approaching. Uh, we're approaching 250. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm content. This is great. Right where we want to be. Okay.
onward to um, to more things. We'll be back. All right, Joshua. Well, uh, your movement is stunningly good, so we're gonna move on and continue with now the calendar side reassembly. So do a little bit of lubrication here. Okay, so now pieces can go in. Perfect. Now we just need your day and date, please. Start with the date. That 
is how we do that. All right, so that is your movement reassembled, and ready to go. So next we have to just um, put your dial and hands on and we'll be back. All right, Joshua, well, we are here uh, with your watch right at the end. We're gonna try and get your, uh, well, we've gotten your dial and hands on. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the watch back in the case get you sealed up, get you finished. So let's go ahead and get that going. All right, so um, what I've done is I went ahead, got your case cleaned up. Now I didn't do any polishing, this is all just uh, you know, just a cloth. Um, it's been cleaned in the cleaner, and the case has been reassembled with a new crystal. Beautiful new Type 2 crystal. Okay, so now go ahead and get your movement back in your case. There we go. All right, you need a new washer. Or a new gasket, I should say. Perfect. Now a little bit of silicone grease, PDMS, polydimethyl siloxane, for our chemistry friends out there. Crown is in. Okay, so now your lubricated material or your lubricated uh, winding assembly. There we go. Perfect. 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 Winding weight goes in place. And with that, we can put your movement retaining ring back in. Just like so. And now your case back with your new case back seal.
with that, we are finished. Look at that. What a beautiful watch. Cool. What a neat looking watch. So nice. All right, let's go through your functions here. Make sure everything works just as it should. So there's your aligned hands. We should click over the date and the day. Okay, let's get pretty far away from there. And then we check that we can do our quick date and you can either do the day or if you're really tricky, you can just do the day. You can just do the date or you can do both. That works just fine. Now, what's interesting is that um, this really isn't necessarily a diver. Um, it's diver-esque. It has, you know, numbers around the outside. It has a loom pip. It's not rated for depth. It's uh, only rated for 70 meters. Um, it has a rotating bezel, but it's only a, it's not a clicking bezel, and it doesn't have a, uh, anything other than an O-ring here with a, you know, just basically a washer that sits inside of your rotating bezel. Um, and you know it's it's lubricated and so it's it's really smooth action it's really nice um, but it's not like a it's just a stiff um, more of a stiff inter interference between the, the the actual case of the watch and the uh, and the, the o-ring that's inside of there so it's an interesting setup um, but that is your watch completed now this is probably one of the best running 6106s I have ever uh, interacted with uh, it's such a it's such a strong runner. I'm really impressed. We put a new three new jewels in your watch, so you have a jewel on your um, both arbor ports for your mainspring, and you actually also have a jewel in your um, fourth wheel um, uh, bridge uh, port. So where the that was a bushing before, but now it's a jewel because your bushing of course was was toast um, your bushing will come back to you so let's go through um, what we have here for you okay so that's your old case back gasket which is flat and stiff there's your original style crown or um, I'm sorry crystal there's the o-ring that sits inside your uh, your outer bezel and if we can find your jewel, that would be nice. It's in the bag here. No, oh, no, I set it aside. It's over here. So you, can, you can look at this, but uh, there it is. Very tiny, but there nonetheless. Um, and your bushing that we replaced is right here. So this is your upper mainspring arbor port bushing. Get a hold of it have it sitting here so that will come back to you as well so there are your pieces that make up the former components of your watch this is from your one half of what is a very hard piece of plastic that was your crown seal so now that all those are ready to come home put them in the bag here you can have a look at your leisure and uh, I want to thank you for trusting me with this really neat watch, and I look forward to hearing from you. All right. Thanks a lot, Joshua. Thanks for watching.